Hey everybody, YSOWalk here. In this video, we're going to go over the new PUBG console inventory system that's coming alongside update 10.2 next week. There'll be a link at the top of the screen now, linking you over to the patch notes for update 10.2. So if you want to see everything that's coming, click on that, or it'll be at the end of the video as well, if you want to jump onto it straight away. Hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. If you do, consider liking and subscribing to see more. So the first thing they say is they basically thank everyone for the support and the update of the 10.2. Uh, they're looking forward and people are giving good feedback on what's coming. And then they say, uh, in the return for your support, we're bringing several changes up to the 10.2 to provide an improved inventory and management experience. We had some concerns when proceeding with this project. One of the biggest was that many of the players were familiar with the current inventory system. However, as previously mentioned, we have made improvements to provide a better inventory management with minimal changes causing less confusion. So it will be different and improved, but it will feel familiar, I think is what they're going for. So the first thing we talk about is the Inventia UX issues. So the current PUBG console inventory UX can be awkward in terms of its experience. We've been collecting your feedback for some time and have researched ways to reduce inconveniences. For example, the current inventory supports moving up and down between slots with the D-pad. However, it doesn't allow you to move left and right. You have to use the bumper buttons for that. Also, the weapons and attachments are separated into two different tabs with increases the weapons change steps. So if you want to increase your attachment, there's multiple buttons you have to press to do that. It also made it inconvenient to move the attachment and disattachment, yep. There could be several inconvenience. So basically, it's like another thing as well, is like, if you want to like drop a grenade or something, uh, you have to like tab along, then scroll all the way down to do it. So say you get downed and your mate's not got a grenade, so you're gonna drop the grenade for him so he can smoke you it's like probably six or seven button presses to do that. So hopefully things like that are gonna be much improved for this uh, for this next update. Then they're going to what do they want to achieve? What we want to achieve through this inventory improvement product is as follows. First, improve the inventory slot specification to increase the ease of navigating your inventory. Maximum visible slots are limited to 14 and other sections will remain the same as the current inventory. So I'm assuming what that's meaning is, you know the list of equipment you've got on the left, you can, I don't know how many you can see now to be honest, but they've made it to 14. Second, we want to add the movement slash adjustment feature to allow players to select the desired item from their inventory faster and easier. This feature will allow you to quickly return to battle by selecting and applying the desired items much quicker than before. Okay. We were fully aware of concerns about control sensitivity, this is what I was going to mention. The movement sensitivity may be a little awkward at first as you can move freely above, below, left and right. To help players adapt to the new system, we have added the new configuration option, which allows you to adjust inventory control sensitivity. Yeah, so this is important. I'm glad they've created a, its own sensitivity setting because if you had to do one sensitivity for in-game, out-of-game and all the rest, then to make your inventory feel good might make the actual game feel terrible and vice versa. So I'm glad they've thought of that ahead of time and we're not just going to get that further down the line, which would be super inviting. <laughs> Other changes being made, uh, so changes to the UI, they've removed the character rendering image, which is your character in the center of the screen. They've probably done that to free up more space for actual inventory. Applied animation to provide feedback on actions like equipping, okay. Fix the location of the tooltip pop-up display, okay. Changes in the UX, applied grid movement, which is the up, down, left, right, which should make it a lot easier to traverse between different things. Reduce the steps required for changing weapons, okay. Uh, right stick made improvements allowing you to use it similar to a mouse. So the right analog stick you should be able to move anywhere to just click like a cursor or you can use the D-pad if you find that quicker. In the inventory management, the D-pad for up down like we say, great flexibility in navigating between tabs in grid form. When navigating left and right, your selection will navigate to the nearest tab and if there are none, it will be directed to the very bottom of the column, okay. Navigate up and down with the right stick, okay. Uh, they've changed in weapon slot and attachment improvements. So they've integrated uh, the attachment slot. So select attachment and weapon upon the weapon status. Attachment, tap, weapon, hold, okay. Reduce the number of required steps to change weapon slots. And then the weapon images, they've done a little thing where they've improved the visibility by adjusting the outline of the image next to the weapon. So it's just a bit clearer, which is, I've never really had a problem with that, but fine, if they, if they think it looks bad, then good. Uh, and that's it. And then the final thing they just give is uh, they want to obviously get feedback on this. So I imagine, you know, nothing's perfect first time around. So they'll 
probably get a lot of community feedback and then tweak it slightly. So if you do have any issues with it when it goes live next week, make sure to drop them a message either on the PUBG forums or uh, on the Twitter or whatever, and they'll uh, they'll hopefully take that on board. Uh, and that's it. So can't wait to get my hands on it, see what it changes like. I feel like it's going to feel a lot different for a little while to get used to it, but uh, if it makes it easier in the long run, that's good. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking and subscribing to see more. Wookie out.